be playoff action at the Oulu soccer field in less than an hour as the men's soccer team will take on University of the Southwest at 1 o'clock in this year's conference tournament's quarterfinals. The team finished a regular season ranked number four in the Red River Athletic Conference, while the Mustangs from Hobbs, New Mexico finished ranked number six. So make sure to come out and support your Saints in this year's last home game. The Volvo team played the last home game yesterday when they defeated Texas A&M Kingsville 3-2. And the Saints will hit the road today when they travel up to Oklahoma to play their two last conference games starting tonight at 7 p.m. against Bacone College and ending the season against Langston University Saturday. Staying on the topic of Thanksgiving, you could help the kids of Mar Hill Elementary School have a meal. Items needed include cans of corn, green beans, cranberry sauce, boxes of stuffing and potatoes, dinner rolls and gravy. Donations can be dropped off in Professor Winston's office in Maine 227E. If you have any questions, you can contact Professor Winston at extension 2257. And women's soccer are getting ready to wrap up their season as both teams made a conference tournament. And the men's and women's basketball team will start their seasons being nationally ranked. That and more coming up in sports. After two weeks of preparations, head coach Arthur Salazar and his teams are now ready to play the second highest ranked team in program history. Opening night for the Saints, and they started off big time. Xavier Robertson's hit that three in the corner. Saints up by eight early in the first half. Saints showing that pressure defense that they become famous for. Marcus Thompson with the steal. Comes back underneath and over to Greer, who puts it up and makes the basket. And the Saints go up by eight. Later on in the second half, Mid-America makes a big comeback. A steal on the inbound by Langer, and Luke Thomas puts in the rebound. Thomas had a big night with 33 points. Saints down by two points, Xavier Robertson, last chance, taking a three-point shot, but misses it, and there goes the ch same chances for victory as the fall, 99-97. Head coach Ryan Wall coached his first home game as a head coach for the Saints, and despite the tough loss, he was so proud of his team's effort. The Saints will return to maybe gymnasium tonight, Friday, and tomorrow, Saturday, hosting the third annual Halo Classic. The Saints will play Northwood University tonight at 7.30 p.m. and Texas Wesleyan University tomorrow at 4 p.m. If you want to know more about the Halo Classic, visit the athletic website, oldlewsaintsathletics.com. Women's basketball opened its regular season last weekend with a pair of wins over NIA Gulf Coast Athletic Conference members, Xavier University, 92-86, and Philander Smith University, 99-72. The number 17 ranked Saints improved to 3-0 overall. Ready to adopt a pet? More than 200 dogs and cats in need of homes will be waiting for you at the Talk About It campaign's annually holiday adoption party this Saturday, November 16th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The event will be held in outside Lifetime Fitness at the rim of I-10 and Lock and Terra Parkway. For more information, visit talkaboutitsa.org. Thank you, Nate and Roxanne. Women's basketball took a pair of convincing wins last week as the Saints won 76-62 over NCAA Division II McMurray University and kept their winning streak going as they rolled over Wayland Baptist University 91-69 last Sunday. Courtney Bayless was awarded Rack Player of the Week and had a game-high 31 points against Wayland Baptist and is currently tied number one in the nation for three-pointers made per game. Losing 91-93 against St. Gregory's University and 84-89 against University of Science and Arts, the men's basketball team suffered two tough losses in last week's St. Gregory's Thanksgiving tournament. The team is now 3-5 for the season. Tennis season won't start until the spring semester, but head coach Sal Castillo and his team participated in the Corpus Christi Thanksgiving tournament last week. Freshman Bernardo Pegas lost the final run to number one seeded Jason Holland 2-6 and 3-5. Holland beating Saints junior Matt Ellis prior to the final in a close three-set match, 6-7, 7-6, and 3-5.